Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's final final video. Go to have a look at the weather. Let's change to 14 days for today's final video date. And will take us to the 2nd of September. And uh, we'll be able to excel out beyond that with the XOGFS and ECM ensembles. Maybe once around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. So that's going to get us uh, well into the second half of September, actually. I shall get on that for you in a moment. Just say it first. Really, really, was our 6 cm upload. And we've also released the uh, extended European Outlook, too. So please check out those two videos if you like to do that. Like, share, and subscribe on the vids. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. We are grinding to 15k, and uh, you know that Gav loves to grind. <laughs> uh, so we grind together to 15,000 subscribers. And uh, thank you so much, you know, for, for giving us uh, the subs and whatnot and telling friends and family to uh, subscribe. Uh, I've, I've taken a couple of weeks to subscribe up a little bit, so I've got to get back on the, you know, I've got to get back on the grind. 15k by New Year's Eve. That would be good, wouldn't it? But I think that might be a little bit, a little bit unattainable. But 15k by New Year's Eve would be, would be nice. Uh, so let's just wait and see what happens anyway. But yeah, the grind is on. We're going to grind to 15k. Thank you so much for doing that. Hope you're having a lovely Tuesday. Wow, wow, wow. So let's start off with the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. Let's go. We saw it in Liverpool today. So the red line is a 30 year upper air temperature average for Liverpool. We're above average at most, very warm and humid at the moment. We are going to see the upper air temperature dropping down, freshening up a little bit over the uh, next couple of days. Um, and then just around or a little bit above average as we go off into the Closing days of month around bank holiday uh, weekend. It's going to be relatively uh, warm, I think. And then through the first week of September, again, not all that far away from, from average, just uh, hovering quite close to long-term averages. We have got some uh, wet weather coming up. Uh, in Liverpool uh, later on in the week. So there will be some heavy rain in the north and west um, in, in, a, in a day or so's time. Been a lot of dry weather, though, after that, over that holiday weekend up to Bunsen. Um, may, maybe getting wetter, though, as we go into the first week of September. This is something we talked about in the videos in the video yesterday, 10 to 14 day yesterday, uh, that trend is being maintained at the moment by the uh, by the GFS and its ensembles. We do see there, you know, an increasingly uh, unsettled, potentially wet signal for the first week of September, which is quite unusual. We normally think of the first week of September as being a very summer-like week with a lot of hot and dry weather, so it would be quite unusual to turn it wet. Um, although that does happen occasionally after, after hot summers, you can get, you know, a wet September, it's happened in 76, happened in 95, but it's all a long way off anyway, it's, you know, it's the uh, same range, it's unreliable time frame stuff, so it's just going to have to wait and see, uh, you know, what happens there. Touch of is from the 23rd to the 31st of August are above average of a warmer than average week to come. And precipitation anomaly surprise rise to uh, 23rd uh, to 31st of August, drier than normal. Another warm, dry uh, week to come. Latest wind from that from Earth, NoSchool.net shows up to bring the air in from off the Atlantic today. So that's changing, changing the air mass slightly. Uh, with an area of low pressure to the northwest of uh, Scotland. High pressure will be coming back later on in the week, though. Right, so in some places you can bet your run is looking for uh, midnight on Friday, so trying to ridge up high pressure from the Azores. However, there is a chop pushing through the northern half of the country that could bring showery uh, conditions over the weekend. High pressure will generally have a foothold of the weather. Though there are seemingly little features within that area of high pressure. So there might be showers over the weekend. But I think the emphasis will be on dry weather really throughout most of the weekend. And whilst it won't be a heat wave, it should be presently warm when the sun is out. That's how long to get to the end of the UK Met run. Gets to midnight on Tuesday next week. And high pressure is still uh, in control there. Icon looks like that. So sorry, everyone. Icon looks like that. We have high pressure building up from the southwest over the bank holiday weekend. And by the way, I'll be announcing a little bit later on 
uh, what the historic video is going to be for the for Bank Holiday Monday. So uh, it's been a very very long time since I've done a historic video. Uh, I think the last was probably Christmas Day last year. With all of the various crises <laughs> and things that I was going through during the spring, you know, around Easter and the May Bank Holidays and whatnot. I just I just never managed to do a historic video through those. Um, through those earlier uh, bank holidays uh, this year, but I am going to do one for the August bank holiday. I'll be announcing on the uh, on the uh, Gaz Webby's uh, social media account for later on today uh, what the uh, what the historic video is going to be. So anyway, back to this. This high, uh, I can't show high pressure sort of reaching through the country over the weekend and into the early part of next week. Gradually by that high pressure is easy way, so by the time we get to the end of Icon Run, gets us to midday on the 30th of August, next Tuesday, the lower pressure is just beginning to leak in from off the Atlantic. Could that be the trend for September? GFS Midnight Run, once more, has the high pressure reaching up from the southwest uh, over the uh, weekend, close to the coast, just to our west, bringing the wind from a little bit more of a northerly type direction, though. So it won't be a heat wave, but it should be pleasant over the weekend. May expect a few showers, especially so for more northern and eastern areas. That ridge continues up to the beginning of September, but by the beginning of September, this is Thursday the 1st, the ridge is breaking as low pressure starts to come in from off the Atlantic. And look at this, we get to Friday the 2nd, day 10, and low pressure to west of Scotland is bringing unsettled conditions uh, across the country. And uh, then the GFS Midnight Run really goes to town with turning it not only cool but very unsettled. We pull wind in from a chilly north or northwesterly direction, and areas of low pressure around the country will be showers long as well as rain. Notice this feature just here. That is the remains of a tropical storm and or hurricane moving into the North Atlantic there by the 5th of September. Been a very, very quiet uh, start to the hurricane season uh, this year, of course, but uh, the GFS does show something there in the North Atlantic by the 5th of September. And look what happens we go to the end of the GFS midnight run, just turns increasingly unsettled with a great big dartboard appearing to the west of Ireland. So, uh, really quite a wet and uh, rather cool first week to September here with the GFS Midnight Run. Big, big change, not only on what we uh, have had through the last few months, through this summer, um, but a big change, you know, in terms of what we expect for September. Is it, is it going to come up? Let me know in the comments what you think, or is uh, is the GFS just, uh, you know, losing the plot a little bit, and we'll eventually go back to, like, a hot, dry first week of September, as we normally expect. Let me know what you think in the comments. This shower 6 said is looking again. A bit of a trough through the country on Friday. Could bring some showers or long spells rain. But over weekend high pressure should be reaching through the country. It's a pretty weak ridge. So there will be showers at times. It's not going to be completely dry back holiday weekend. But overall I don't think back holiday weekend is going to be too bad. So as we get through to the end of August and the beginning of September and then we find low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic. So again, same as midnight run, but since then, turning things unsettled by the first day of September. This is Thursday the first low pressure in showers or longer spells of rain uh, across the country. In the extreme range, the, uh, the six day tries to bring up this ridge of high pressure from the Atlantic. So it does turn a little bit from the uh, from Southern Europe, from these laws. So it does turn warmer, actually, through the first week of September, but still a little bit mixed. Look at this. Again, we see that feature, which is, uh, which is an ex-tropical storm or hurricane there in the North Atlantic, just moving into the North Atlantic uh, by the 5th of September. Two GFS runs doing that. And uh, eventually, that becomes a very deep area of low pressure just to our southwest, our southwest approaches. And that really does look like it could bring some extreme wet weather if that low pressure were to move our way. If that low pressure is going that direction, it's possible that it could do. And that uh, could bring some very, very wet weather indeed uh, by, uh, you know, the second week of September. We're 384 hours out now. We are a long way out, of course. So, <laughs> you know, uh, very, very unreliable. Let's just wait and see what happens. Uh, GM, if you enjoyed the video, by the way, please, you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. GM, again, 
looking like this with a ridge of high pressure close to the country over the back holiday weekend. But there will be troughs coming again, so it won't be completely dry over the weekend. However, I think the emphasis is on mostly dry weather until the end of August. And then again, same idea, the GM just shown lower pressure begin to start moving in from off the Atlantic by day 10 as the ridge begins to go north and uh, weakens quite a lot. And then the ECMWF, uh, all much of a much, this is a bank holiday weekend, there will be a ridge through the country that should bring quite a dry weather, but low pressure, weak low pressure is out to the northwest, and that could bring showery conditions. As we get into next week, through uh, the closing days of August into the beginning of September. Again, in, an increasingly unsettled look to things with lower pressure built moving in from off the Atlantic. Uh, so that by the time you have the day, temperature for Satan September, we are, you know, more or less under an area of low pressure then, which is quite a significant change on what we have had over the past few months. Now, this is a precipitation forecast based on that in Chevron. Into metshow.com. So, very going to be some wet weather in the north and west, northern England, Wales, southwest England over the next few days. And some folks on could clip into the far south beach and corner actually tomorrow night, Wednesday night into Thursday morning. We could bring some photos on into the extreme south beach corner. That would be very useful in terms of uh, some much needed rain. Very, lot, very, a lot of dry weather as we go into the bank holiday weekend till the end of bank holiday weekend when low pressure and starts pushing in from off the uh, Atlantic. That brings heavy showers, maybe further storms with it too. And then we go on into the end of the ECM run, which gets us to the 2nd of September. And then we begin to turn wet in the north and west about wet weather, no doubt spreading southwards and eastwards with time. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensemble today for day 10, gets us to the 2nd of September. 22 members of the ECM ensemble, including control and the operational run, have a trough of low pressure over the top of the country with a ridge of high pressure pulled out to our west and northwest. So cool and unsettled, really, uh, with that at day 10. 16 just here have high pressure to our west and northwest. So that'll bring quite a bit of dry weather. Won't be a heat wave, but quite dry with that. And uh, 13 high pressure again to the west, reaching in uh, from off the Atlantic into the west of Europe. So the majority option is unsettled, 22. However, if you put 16 there together with the 13 there, actually the ECM ensembles are still quite anti-cyclonic at day 10. And in two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. This gets us to the 7th of September. 12 members of the ECM ensembles have high pressure to the north, low pressure is to the south. Winds coming in from the east. That could bring some wet weather, some much need wet weather into the south. We have 11 with high pressure more or less in over top of the country. We have 9 with high pressure again more or less over the country. We have 8 with an area of high pressure just to our west and northwest, but again more or less sitting over the top of the country. 6 with high pressure to our east and low pressure to the west. So that brings up some very warm air from the south. And then we have five with low pressure, quite a deep drop of low pressure over the top of the country. That could be cool and uh, wet. But only five doing that. Most of the options seem to involve high pressure to some degree or another. Though it's a bit inconclusive, this. Will it turn unsettled, cool, wet for the first week of um, September? Or will, will we keep the warm, dry weather going, albeit not as hot as it was? Like earlier on in the summer. Let me know, everyone, what you think in the comments. Right, 732, and then we're done. These are 500 mm bar heights. So Normally, it's breaking down into week periods. The first week period will take from the 23rd to the 29th of August. The coming week, we'll have high pressure over to the east of the country. Winds will be coming in from an easterly direction. So we don't dry weather, there could be showers in the west and in the southwest too. Week two maintains a high pressure. This is the 30th of August, 5th of September. High pressure sits to the north of Scotland. Again, round that bringing wind for the east. So no unsettled start to September with the CFS today. Uh, week three is going to be the 6th to the 12th of September with high pressure there. Mooching, it's mooching everyone just to our west. And uh, so that might bring in something a little bit cooler from the north and from the northwest. But we'll still be mostly dry, actually, by the way. And then week four is the 13th to the 19th of September. High pressure fest this 
uh, today from CFS. High pressures in over Scandinavia again now. Winds back into the east. A lot of east is this September. And a lot of dry weather. Not much in way of low pressure here. There, the shorter range is very different to that, as we've just established, particularly the GFS operationals. So, um, <laughs> what's going on? What's going on? I wonder. We're going to have to wait and see. Right, if you enjoy the video, please you like, share, subscribe, thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Drop a comment. I don't know if you this at all of our videos, and don't forget to tell your friends and family about Gav's weather vids and ask them to subscribe as well. You can all watch Gav's weather vids together and um, won't that be lovely if you all do that. Thank you so much, everyone. <laughs> I said, oh, really? Right, we're done then. Uh, so, just so come at tomorrow, I'm going to have the 6 a.m. upload. We're going to have a look at the JMA uh, extended seasonal model tomorrow as well. That should cover the autumn period, I think. So, we'll see what the JMA is doing for autumn tomorrow. That's be an interesting watch. Uh, and a bit of time to 14 day as well. So, keep checking back to the channel for more. Uh, and, of course, later on today on the social media accounts and on the community page, I'll let everybody know what the Bank Holiday Monday historic video is going to be. So look out for that a little bit later on. But for this one, that's all for now. And thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.